This video is just a little update on how my fingernails are going. So these are the things I'm going to be using just to show you what I'm going to do to my thumb. But I just wanted to show you that my nails are looking rather well. I am still getting a little bit of splitting, um, but apart from that, I'm keeping them nice and short. I think they're looking much better. The problem I had with my thumb is still there a little bit. You can just just about see it going all the way up my nail. But I think this is the end part of what I had the problem with my thumbnail. And it is gradually growing out. Same with that side. That's where it keeps splitting. But the last time it split, the underneath of my thumbnail didn't split. It was just on top. So I think that's something else that's sorting itself out. But I'll just go through and show you what I've been doing like on a weekly basis. So I've just got this uh, cuticle pusher, that's one the first thing I'm going to be using. And then if I've got any extra cuticle I just use these nippers. And this is a buffing file, this side's slightly rougher than this one. So that's what I use before I put the Sally Hansen's Complete Care on. So I'm not like really rough with my nails, I just you know, just if there's any dead particles on the skin or whatever, just get them off first. And then I get the sharp part, I just go around. See, there is some bits that are coming off. Nice and just really, really gently. No pressure on the cuticle area at all. And then from there, I don't usually have much of the extra cuticle that I get, it's more on my fingernails. So I just nip that off if I had some. Then I'm going to get the coarser side of this buffing file and just go over it really lightly again. And then turn it over and use the other side. Now I'm just going to get these little nippers and just get me a thumbnail so it's like sort of even. I have been keeping them really short. And then I'm just going to get another file and just go around. I've got to say guys, this is the longest I have ever had nails off. It's absolutely killing me. <laughs> I don't like it. So from there, I just take the Sally Hansen Complete Care. This stuff I think is really, really good. And then I'm just going to put two layers of this one on, wait for the first one to dry, and put the second one on. that is now nice and dry I'm going to get Barry M's nail paint and just put two coats of this on as well this really makes your nails shine it's lovely stuff and the last thing I do is just put some cuticle oil on I love using this one from tones it's absolutely gorgeous It's just a little bit of information of how I am doing my nail care routine at the moment to try and get the best out of my nails just so I can get my acrylics on a bit quicker. Uh, yeah, as I said before, the only problems I've still got really are my thumbnails with these white patches. I am still taking the vitamins I showed you in the last video, so hopefully that will get rid of that. So I'm hoping it will only take about another month before I can start wearing acrylic nails again. I don't think I'll be wearing them that much though. I will start giving my nails a break because I don't want to do this again. But hopefully they're on the mend now. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!